What's going on, beautiful people? It's Lamont Cordell. I just wanted to make a quick video today, uh, an unboxing, so to speak. I got a new toy. Uh, actually, it's a new camera. I needed a secondary shooter, and the only reason I purchased it, well, the main reason I purchased it was because uh, I'm not really sure how Peter McKinnon does it with his humongous camera, lugging that around with his vlogs while he's out and about. However, the 5D Mark IV proves to be relatively heavy. Some people would say I need to just hit the gym, and they're probably right. However, I decided to opt for a new camera instead, and this is what I got. Ah, Panasonic Lumix G7. Uh, I've done a little bit of research on it. Uh, it has great capabilities. It is a 4K camera, which is exciting. I have yet to use the 4K on the Mark IV. However, uh, I may start using the 4K and see what type of videos I can get with that. Um, you know, it's for the price that it is, and from what I've heard about it, it's a relatively good camera. I got it on Amazon for roughly $500. However, prices fluctuate. What I'll do though is, is I'll leave a link below for this camera so you can take a look at it. And uh, like I said, the prices are going to fluctuate, so don't mark my words on it being $500. However, let's get into the contents of this box and see what's inside of it. All right, of course, you have your instruction manual, your instruction DVD, and a few quick instructions on how to utilize the camera. Nobody cares about that stuff. That's what YouTube is for. Next, you have your next trap. Nobody cares about that either, except for my daughter. She wants to chew on everything, so she'll probably enjoy that. Next is the actual camera. Now, the thing that I like the most about this camera, not uh, only is it lightweight, but it has the flip out screen, which my Mark IV does not. So when I'm out and about and I'm doing my vlog and I need to check my uh, exposure or to see if I'm in frame, all I got to do is flip that screen and it's all love. Now, uh, I'm super excited about that. Uh, the functionality on the camera, the, the camera knob seem to be pretty self-explanatory. If you know anything about cameras, then you should be able to understand what these function knobs do. However, if you don't, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find a YouTube video somewhere. And I plan on doing another video after field testing the camera for a couple weeks. So look, be on the lookout for that one. We got a lens hood. Yes, a lens hood. Boom, easy day. Uh, then under that lens hood is your 14, I believe it's a 14 to 42, 14 to 42 lens. Uh, aperture opens up to about a 3.5 at 14, I believe it is. Uh, pretty nice lens, however, from the research that I've done, I'm going to need to get a wider angle lens. This camera has a crop factor in it, and as wide as this lens is, it's still not wide enough to get the shots that I'm gonna want. So I'm probably gonna end up investing in their 11 to whatever. But anyways, I need a wider angle lens pretty much. And then you have your battery charger and battery. And uh, that that's everything that's in the box. Uh, like I said, I've done a little research on it. Uh, I will be making another video about this camera uh, once I field test it. I'm excited to have it. It's going to give me the opportunity or the ability to get multiple angles when I'm recording out and about. Uh, I'm still going to utilize my Mark IV for my home recording. So anytime you see me in this setting, uh, this is probably going to be it's probably going to be recorded on my Mark IV. However, I need a secondary camera that way I can get those dynamic angles so I can get shooting from one side to another or I can get a ground shot as I'm talking on my camera and that gives me the ability to diversify my videos a little bit more. However, uh, that's my quick unboxing. Not really much information on the camera. Again, I'm sorry. I'll be doing a full review on it later on. I just wanted to show you all the contents of the, the box and uh, let you take a quick look at it as I was opening it up. I always forget to tell you guys this, but like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, it's not necessary, however, it does mean something to me. It does help to get you guys feedback. It lets me know how good of a job or how bad of a job I'm doing. And uh, again, I would pre appreciate it if you were to subscribe to the channel. Uh, that way you can see future videos that I have in store. Anyways, like I said, peace, 
love, happiness. Have a wonderful day.